Okay, so now we're going to talk about flexor digitorum, profundus and superficialis. So they're sort of separated in terms of where they are, where they're located. But for the bulk of us, when we're doing this work through here, because of most of the work with the flexors, the belly of the flexor muscles are all up here for but for a lot of the movement of the fingers itself will come from flexor dig. So <clears throat> if you wiggle your fingers for a Seb, what you should see is there's a lot of movement through this lower half here. So this is the area that we can actually engage flexor dig, okay? And as I said, there's profundus and superficialis, okay? Me, I really don't care because I treat both and all but the beauty is that I can treat them from here up to this area here because then you've got the bulk of the flexor muscles here. So this is a really good area. And because this is all about the finger movement, okay? So all of that finger movement's gonna be coming from that deep flexor, flexor ditch. And if you see it here, we've cut away most of the flexor musculature here and you can see profundus and superficialis under here. So it's a big, big, broad muscle, okay? It comes all the way down through here. So, so when we're talking about, you know, working forearm and, and hand issues, we break up our trigger points to the main little flexors up the top here, okay? And then we've got the um, flexor dig, the big one that sits underneath those is all gonna be here because we've basically just got the tendons of these other flexors here, okay? So it's really great. And this is a really good muscle, like say for, for someone like Seb, who's a rock climber, okay? So there's a lot of gripping action and so forth. So, um, so there's no doubt these muscles get loaded up, okay? So this is a really big, broad approach, okay? We have to go into wrist flexion. I like to soften the tissue off before I work it, okay? And it just means that I get just a really good engagement on these tissues, okay? So I'm just gonna work along here. How's that pressure there, Seb? Is that too much? No, that's good. Okay, so good. Once again, checking in we don't want to be just absolute i mean as much as this looks like it's aggressive it is actually not so we're just going to work all the way along this profundus and if you do this what what you'll find is the fingers will start to curl up and then sometimes they they open up as well so depending on how much pressure you put through there okay so you'll start to see some of the fingers move a little bit there underneath okay So we're gonna work all the way up until about midway, okay? So we're gonna concentrate out here, more onto the radial aspect here. Work along. Up. And then I'm gonna come a little bit more medial or ulnar. So he's obviously a lot tighter on this ulna side, isn't it? Yeah. He feels most of that restriction in there. Okay. Back to the ulna. So see how I've got him in wrist flexion here? And I can just take him down into back to neutral each time we do a sweep through there. Okay. Once again, just using my body weight, I'm not using my shoulders. Okay really important and i'm certainly not using my fingers as well okay so really really important that you work through there and like any of these techniques for these flexors it's really important that you know we can test and get our clients to grip to see if they've got any issues in these areas find that area treat them reassess and then go from there okay it's the same with any of these so you know once again if we had <clears throat> Flexor carpi ulnaris, then obviously we're going to test him pushing back into ulnar, ulnar deviation and, and likewise radial deviation for some of these other like flexor carpi um, radialis. Okay, so just recapping, coming down just above the crease here, move them into flexion, soften that tissue off, sink down, engage, and then work up and along that tissue. Okay, and then we can just take them down into neutral. Okay, so that's flexor dig. Okay, flexion, 
soften the tissue off, come down. We're going to use this broad pace of our first index finger. Once again, sink down. Put our body weight across, and it's sort of like a scooping action. Okay, we're not just pushing in and then dragging along. Okay, so we're just trying to get that bit of a scooping action, and at the same time, bring them back down into extension or just to neutral basically. Okay, and just repeat that process. Okay, just checking in how they're feeling. Not too much, Seb. All good. Poking along. Slow, purposeful, and up. Okay, so we're just working this section here, both sides. Okay, remember all the other flexor, other flexor muscles are basically the bellies are up here. So this is our opportunity to work it out there. 